Welcome to the broadcast. Our sign language interpreter tonight is Flora Atieno. Stephen Mutoro, the man who petitioned Parliament to probe the alleged illegal expenditure of 55 billion shillings by the former regime, now wants a judicial commission of public inquiry into how the monies were used and where they actually ended up. Mutoro is also the Secretary General of the Con Consumer Federation of Kenya. COFEC is calling for the expedition of the forensic audits on the matter. We begin tonight with NTV's Ibrahim Karanja. Submissions. With his petition already drawing public interest towards the alleged illegal expenditure of 55 billion shillings, in the dying days of the Uhuru Kenyatta administration, it was Stephen Mutoro's turn to appear before the Public Petitions Committee of the National Assembly to shed more light on his petition. I would like to call it Uhuru Nyakango has come. The COFEC Secretary General calling on Parliament to channel all its resources in expediting the matter. Because about lost funds is about a cycle of funds that we keep losing every five or ten years. It's a cycle that can actually cause us to have a lot of problems with the taxes. Because when you look at this, what you're doing, Madam Chair, it has a direct correlation with the Finance Act of 2022. That the moment we allow money to get lost in the manner it gets lost, then of course we're asking Wanjiku to pay more. But the amount of money we've lost, or we are left to have lost in this uh, petition, could be much more than, you know, all those so-called scams combined in the past. So this is going, as, you, as matters are going to reveal themselves, going to be one of the worst revelations of what has happened. Immediate former Treasury Cabinet Secretary Ukuri Atani and Controller of Budget Dr. Margaret Nyakango have been at loggerheads in the quest of unearthing the truth, with Nyakango blaming Yatani for her actions. However, the petitioner has dismissed Nyakango's claims. Some of them have been sounding like whistleblowers. Madam Chair, they are not. They are actually part of the problem. If you see uh, the petition that I made on the September 21st of 2022. If we say maybe she was under duress and had nowhere to run to, and what was left was to approve as per what she did, but of course with the defense from the conversations. I think that's the biggest joke I've ever had. She should have rent to her house. She should have left the job. There are certain jokes that you should not even expunge from the record of this house. Which did you rest? Were the police stations closed? Did, uh, when you use our WhatsApp number three, when you use our WhatsApp message, is it equal to a gun? Number four. Did she report that address after that? Number five, did she resign? He now calls for the formation of a judicial commission of inquiry to probe the matter. Issue is deep. This issue touches on other parts of government that ordinarily, and I need to be advised, Madam Chair, for example, the role of the Kenya Defense Forces in the proceeds of this kind of uh, the money that we had. Because you would hear some money were, made, were, were, were put somewhere. And then, of course, the defense forces were contracted. Who's going to audit the, the defense forces of this country? So that's why, Madam Chair, I'm saying we need to build a case for a judicial commission of inquiry. Because if we don't do that, people are going to frustrate this. Maybe they might come to the floor of the house and probably attempt to vote out the recommendations or whatever they want to. Because we are dealing with a very high-level uh, issue. Mutoro claims that the plan was to steal public monies. We need to prioritize the amendment of Article 223. And it's not just for this transition. It's for other transitions also. Ibrahim Karanja, NTV. Uh, 